You know, sometimes your best thinking is when you're just out by yourself, kicking it. Yeah, whether it be in your car or wherever. I guess that's why a lot of people tune in to somebody like Rush Limbaugh and like get shit fed through their brain all day long. But, hey, what can you do? If they want to stay stupid, let them stay fucking stupid. You know? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Whoa! Talk about drink. Let's take a look at what water looks like. Man, needless to say, I wouldn't be drinking it. If it came down to it, I just might. Uh, river's not looking too bad. Kicking back any critters swimming around and running around, don't see any. It's hard to believe the argument and what is going on in the news. I cannot believe I have seen a Marine that has preached to many a people. He may be, you know, not your cup of tea. But he served this country, which gives him the right to say any goddamn thing he wants about this country. And I tell you what, one thing about this country, it doesn't like to take responsibility for what it has done. And God forbid you say one negative thing about the good old USA. You know, what can you do? Around here, I mean, these country boys, God forbid you actually tell them that Bush lied to go to war. They all know it, but they don't want to admit it, because to admit it which would be admitting that they screwed up. That this bullshit of calling people like me just long-haired hippies, dope smokers, kumbaya singers, was just horseshit. Now they start to realize that. That's a pill they're going to have to swallow on their own. I'm sure not going to be able... I'm not going to be nice now. Hell, there's no being nice anyway. So why try? So if there's no sense being nice... And, well, might as well do something useful then. I got some plants to put in my greenhouse. Let me go prep them. Yeah. I'll show you where I'm at at the greenhouse. That's enough political anyway. Ain't that right, Smoke? Screw this political bullshit for now when we're sitting out here looking at this. Huh, baby? Yeah. Good girl. And got the little one going, crawling through the weeds. You're a good girl, Smoke. Well, I'm going to get to work. Show you where I'm at. Show you what I'm up to. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and prep some plants. What I got in the bucket is uh, little clay balls for hydroponics. You can find it in any shop, hydroponic shop. Just regular store-bought tomatoes. I got too late in the season. Started this little adventure too late in the game. So I figure I'm going to start off with some just regular store-bought plants. I'm going to rinse them out down to the bare root, and then we'll throw them in the system. It's just a matter of uh, washing them out in the water, putting them bare root in the container, and filling them up with the clay ball, and putting them in the hydro. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I got my plants washed. Got all the dirt off the roots, got them in the containers along with the clay pellets, and now we'll walk and show you what our, my little system looks like. Just like anything or any new invention or creation, it's got to have a name. This thing's name is the bullfrog. You'll see why in a minute. I don't know if you can hear the sound. You should be able to. Back two rows. Tomatoes. Third row down. Bell pepper. Bottom row. We got strawberries. Coming into my tank. 
Now since these are bell peppers, tomatoes, and strawberries, I can run them a little rich, way rich actually, because they're fast growing plants. But if I'm going to run them rich, their fish are not going to be able to survive in my solution. But that's okay. This, this system here is not going to be an aquaponic system. That will be in the future. This one's just regular hydroponics. Okay. See how it goes. The plants just got in. It's pretty warm in here right now. Actually, it's hot in here. Next agenda is I'm going to have to put in some windows in here. I'll probably put four around to where I can circulate a lot of air in here. But at this point in time, you can get a good idea of what's been running through my mind and what I've been up to. But for now, you guys have a good one. And go green. Later!